Mr. Weldon pled guilty to count 52, which was the charge of refusal to submit to a police officer. It was to be filed. It's my understanding, well, first of all, if it was to be filed, I should have engaged in a colloquy with Mr. Weldon, and there was a form that should have been completed for a guilty filed charge. I didn't do that, and given the nature of the charge and those charges to which Mr. Weldon has pled guilty, it's my understanding the Commonwealth will be filing a null prosecute of that charge. Is that correct? That is correct, Your Honor. Thank you, Attorney Bennett. So, counsel, I don't know if you were aware of that, but I'm going to vacate the guilty plea as to count 52 only, the refusal to submit to a police officer. So, Mr. Weldon, your guilty plea to that charge is vacated, and the Commonwealth is going to file what's called a null prosecute. That one charge is essentially dismissed. Finally, there was a waiver of the Fifth Amendment right, the right to preclude admissions that were made by Mr. Weldon during psychiatric examinations. Attorney Murphy, you went over this form with Mr. Weldon? I did, Your Honor. Mr. Weldon, you went over this form with Attorney Murphy? Yes, Your Honor. And you understood the right that you were waiving, the assertion of your Fifth Amendment privilege? You understood you were waiving that right? Yes, Your Honor. And you signed this form voluntarily? Yes, Your Honor, I signed this form voluntarily. All right, thank you. Attorney Bennett, are you ready to proceed? I am, Your Honor. Before the Commonwealth engages in its argument in support of the agreed recommendation, I'd be requesting to bring the family members up to give their impact statements at this time. That will be permitted. I'll hear from the family members. In addition, Your Honor, I'd be requesting the court's permission to allow some family members to come up with supporters as they read their statements to the court. That will be permitted. And finally, Your Honor, I'd ask they be allowed to remove their masks as they address the court. Very well, Your Honor. Thank you. And I'm going to ask you to remind each of these people to keep their voice up. It's important that I hear what they have to say. It's important that everyone hears what they have to say. Of course, Your Honor. Your Honor, the Commonwealth will begin by calling Rob Escalante to deliver a statement. Your Honor, Kayla was a daughter, a sister, and a mother. She could light up a room with her smile or fill it with her laughter. Her love for her friends and her family never dwindled, but instead it grew every day. She could love with the power of a thousand hearts. She never gave up on the things that meant the most to her. Kayla was my best friend when we were kids, and our lives took separate ways. Yes, she struggled with addiction, but that didn't define her. It was her mission to stay clean for her family. I was absent from her in the last few months of her life. I was busy chasing the dollar to support our family and selfishly ignored the difficult choice of handling my obligations that were staring me in the face. I felt my priorities were pulling me towards my career rather than helping her. This happened to be the time that she needed me the most. This is something I will have to live with for the rest of my life. I am filled with regret every day that I was not there for her. I wish that I could just tell her once more what she meant to me, but that moment was stolen from me. Her death has brought a darkness to our family that is hard to explain. 
Happy conversations that seem sad, and moments of joy are met with gloom. Our family and her close friends have experienced many moments of depression and anxiety over the loss of her, and these are feelings that will not soon be gone. Yeah, she had her issues, but we all do. No one in this room is perfect. However, I think we all can agree that Caleb and Ernestine in America were wrongfully taken from this world, and no number of words can bring them back. However, if she were here now, I would start by telling her that I am sorry, and that I love her. I would tell her I need my big sister back. And I would tell her that a million years behind bars wouldn't be enough to take, to make up for him taking away for her, taking her away from us for an hour. Please serve justice for these three young ladies, and don't forget their names. Rock the heavens, Caleb. I love you. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, Mr. Of the, of the families of, of the victims in this case. I've already indicated that I'm going to accept the agreed upon sentencing recommendation that includes uh, three consecutive life sentences. Mr. Sarnacki, you may impose sentence. Stand up, sir. Walden, hearken to the sentence the court has awarded against you. An indictment 1879-382, count one. In consideration of this offense, the court orders that you be confined at MCI Cedar Junction for the term of your natural life. On count two of said indictment, in consideration of this offense, the court orders that you be confined at MCI Cedar Junction for the term of your natural life. This is to run from and after the sentence in count one. On count three of said indictment, in consideration of this offense, court orders that you be confined at MCI Cedar Junction for the term of your natural life. This is to run from and after the sentence in count two. On counts five, seven, nine, 11, 12, 19, 23, 32, 37, 46, 47, and 48 of said indictment. In consideration of these offenses, the court order is that you be confined at MCI Cedar Junction for a period of not less than nine years and not more than 10 years. These will run concurrent with each other and with the sentence in count one. On counts 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 22, 31, 34, 35, 36, 39, 44, and 49 of said indictment. In consideration of these offenses, the court orders that you be confined at MCI Cedar Junction for a period of not less than four years and not more than five years. These will run concurrent with each other and the sentence in count one. On counts 33, 38, and 51 of said indictment. In consideration of these offenses, court orders you be confined at the Hampton County House of Corrections for a period of two and a half years to run concurrent with each other and with the sentence in count one. On count 45 of said indictment, in consideration of this offense, court orders that you be confined at MCI Cedar Junction for a period of not less than 14 years and not more than 15 years to run concurrent with the sentence in count one. On count 50 of said indictment, in consideration of this offense, the court orders that you be confined at the Hampton County House of Corrections for a period of two years to run concurrent with the sentence in count one. Count 52, the guilty plea has been vacated and a no process has been filed. You will receive credit of 1,222 days. You are advised that you must provide a DNA sample within one year of today's date, that you may have the duty to register as a sex offender, and that you have the right to appeal to the appellate division of the Superior Court.
court officers, the defendant of violence in custody in your sentence. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Counsel. Thank you, Your Honor.